please like my videos please subscribe to my channel and please press the bell icon so that you get to know when my latest video has come and to learn more and to find a video relevant to you please do check out my videos list hello namaskar and adab to all my friends from your friend astrologer and guide irfan once more with you from your very own channel astro assurance after i made my video on the darakas in the 12 houses i immediately got a request that i should also do about different planets being darakarakas usually i take some time between a same topic or a same area maybe with a different topic because i want people to take it in it take it in ruminate on it digest it think about it do some analysis and come back however since the request has been made and uh, it may be fresh in people's mind so i thought let me do the video uh, you know within a couple of days after doing that one now normally how do i choose my topics when i do a video i do uh, i choose a topic based on what i feel is a natural progression of what i have done so far it could be a part of a series if i'm doing a series for example if i'm doing a maturity of planets then every few days i would put in a video on the maturity of planets if i'm doing a series planets in houses then every few days i would put in one video after the after the other for example the first lord in 12 houses second lord in 12 houses and so on if i'm doing planets and signs then too i will do it as a series until i finish the series i'll maybe intersperse different topics in between however i would like to complete the entire series in a certain manner so that's one way the second way is on based on requests if requests come in for me to do a certain topic then i may pick it up but how do i prepare for a topic once i choose a topic so what i do is now this is uh, some inputs i'm giving or secrets i'm giving of how i choose a topic and how i prepare for it um, so the first time i decide okay i need to uh, to do a video on this topic or i need to share my knowledge or what i've got from uh, my guru some from my learning from my research is first i would put things on paper i would just take a notepad and i would just write bullet points on it and think about it and maybe elaborate some points think about some um, you know analysis i have done some horoscopes which i have done some uh, horoscopes which come to my mind because i'm thinking about certain placements and then maybe i will put in those exam as examples so once i do that then i go into my database of all my clients that i have i have records of almost maybe uh, most of them which run into thousands so i would pick up uh, one or two and then for example if i'm doing now that i'm doing this video in darakarakas so every horoscope would have a darakaraka so if i'm doing this video on uh, certain planets being darakarakas then i would take 15 to 20 Uh, horoscopes especially those horoscopes which i know very well which are fresh in my mind i know those people intimately some of them may be my friends some of them may be also be family then i would look at their life because i know their lives very well so if i know that a certain planet is coming out as a darakaraka every horoscope will have a darakaraka how their life has panned out what are the experiences they have got as x being the darakaraka y being the darakaraka meaning sun being the darakaraka how their life has panned out moon is the darakaraka how their life is panned out so besides my notes i would put in those notes and then try and try and see and compare so if i put notes about sun being the darakaraka for a person then after four or five horoscopes i get another one where sun is the darakaraka then i put notes of that and then i'll compare and then finally i arrive at this is what uh, seems to come out from my learning what i've got from my gurus what i've got from books what i've got from my research and what i've got from my experience then once i'm uh, once i've arrived at okay these are the things i want to say in, in the video then more or less um, you know the things are already in my mind and then i just go extempore i just like to talk extempore more than refer to notes and all and uh, uh, so this is how i prepare for the topic i prepare for uh, what topic i want to do and how i have to cover that so now on the topic of uh, various planets being darakarakas so firstly different planets being darakarakas will bring in both the elements the positive elements as well as the negative elements and if a certain planet is a darakaraka but it is also malefic for that particular horoscope then obviously it will create challenges also for the individual so keep that in mind that a darakaraka 
especially whichever planet is 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 the dara karaka for you in in your horoscope that planet based on whether it's combusted debilitated afflicted um and also it's a maraka for your horoscope will give results accordingly so let's jump into the topic with the first disclaimer that normally should you take rahu or ketu as the dara karaka or any karakas now when you try to take them end with a, as any other karakas for example if you want to take rahu as a uh, atma karaka so rahu and ketu would have the same degrees so should you take which one should you take as the atma karaka for example if rahu has the highest degrees in the horoscope then ketu would also have the highest degrees in the horoscope so what do you take what you don't take so there is some um, there is no complete consensus on that but lot of people don't take rahu and ketu as the uh, the karakas some people may take rahu as the karaka and may avoid ketu for obvious reasons so uh, i try and avoid rahu or ketu especially for sensitive relationships uh, as the dara karaka definitely i may take rahu um, or even ketu as the uh, rahu as the amatya karaka but um, with as the atma karaka because it is the soul involved here it is better to refrain from taking rahu Uh, as the atma karaka maybe just for studies you may look at it and try and say in certain horoscopes so let's go with dara karaka about dara karakas also i am going to avoid taking rahu and ketu as the dara karakas but i am going to take the other seven planets let's start with the first planet first sun the innermost planet and or the planetary body if not a planet itself now sun is a tricky uh, dara karaka to have because what happens with sun is sun also brings in accountability but with leadership and sun likes to rule but here because the soul is attached so a lot of karmic energy is flowing with sun being the better half or being the spouse so here the person may also want to rule a little bit more or may want to take authority in the relationship and be more directive in the relationship so the person may want to have more authority of saying yes or no and may want you as the spouse to agree with what with what he or she say this is also a um, a tricky placement especially when sun becomes the uh, amaraka in your horoscope because then it can create unnecessary challenges even where some don't exist so it can bring in personality differences it can bring in ego clashes also and uh, sometimes in very very afflicted situations the sun is very very afflicted even debilitated or afflicted with rahu or ketu with or other marakas or other malefics then the uh, it may also be my way or the highway or you never listen to me there may be aggression also but definitely ego or personality differences may also come in where uh there may also be days when both don't talk to each other there is less communication uh but there is when things go right it's all sunshine because it is sun it's brightness it is happiness there's lot of uh, affection everything is there but when the gloomy night comes it becomes very very problematic and sometimes even when you as the spouse may want to make up to the person but there is so much baggage that has already come into the relationship it becomes difficult to reach out or to you know let's to say that okay let's for, let bygones be bygones because sometimes you may be ready to let the bygones go but the other person may not be ready because of the personality issues and some narcissism may also come in because the sun is involved here so it's a slightly tricky placement to have however it is also a placement where such a person especially if benefits are getting attached or aligned to the sun then this person may also be one who has a lot of ambition and may want to do very well in life and if your spouse is a working person then the person may also attract gains may also do well in his or her career as a leader and may work hard to achieve a certain position in his or her career but because of this ambition sometimes in the marriage also in the union also in the relationship also sometimes challenges may also creep in because the person has too much focus on his or her career and we try to move towards what his or her aim is what his or her goal is especially trying to re- to reach to a certain level to reach to a higher position in hierarchy and because of this also sometime because the time is not so much between the couple you both of you are not able to give each other time and but when the time is given the person may say that okay you need to give more time in the relationship or you need to be more flexible while 
I have so many things to do, I may not be. So sometimes the uh, friction may also come in because of misunderstanding, miscommunication, sometimes narcissism, sometimes uh, wanting to take authority, sometimes trying to control, rule and sometimes personality differences may also come in. So one has to be careful with this because happy moments can be very, very happy, very bright, can have fantastic memories, but when things go downhill, it can go really, really downhill. And it is better not to have a debilitated sun or eclipse sun or a sun which is strongly afflicted with other two or three uh, planets because then it could mean that because of challenges in the affliction of the Dara Karaka, the relationship goes down and there could even be separation between the re relationship or between the couple and in certain cases this could also be a complete separation also. So one has to be a little careful with the sun as the Dharaka, Dharakaraka because it could swing both ways. Let's talk about the second planet which is Mercury. Mercury is a good Dharakaraka to have, especially for those people who like to have a beautiful spouse, especially younger looking spouse because this spouse or this person, male or female, can, be, can look younger than his or her age. They could also be, the, be people who carry a lot of uh, youth in their mannerisms, could be fun loving, maybe wanting to go out, mix it with people and also those people who will bring in a very boyish or girlish approach to, uh, you know, to, to themselves. So these people may also have to, may also work at a notch lower than their age or the maturity level that you expect from them. So sometimes in the relationship also that may creep in where you think that this person is not mature enough to how the person should be in a relationship. This person is too kiddish, this person does not understand, this person does, is not mature enough to what the relationship is required. And so this person's approach, either the person is either very, very fun loving and is wanting to uh, go out, you know, let the hair down, enjoy and, and be the uh, you know, darling of the party and do a lot of good things, invite people over, be very social. Uh, on the one side that can happen, but on the other side, it could also be that this person is very, very analytical, very complaining, very controlling and very correcting. So this person could also be somebody who is always correcting you, always trying to change you, uh, all, always trying to tell you that I don't like this, why do you do this, I have told you not to do this, why do you still do this, this really puts me off, why do you continue to do this, or this is so rude, or you are this. And that may happen because this person, because of the mercury energies, because of being analytical, also being more of a perfectionist, may want a better spouse, perfect spouse, without keeping so much focus on themselves that they themselves also have a lot of challenges in they, they, how they approach the relationship, how they deal with the spouse, how they deal with the better half. So a tricky Dharakaraka to have. Uh, but a fun Dharakaraka, good looking, youthful Dharakaraka is definitely uh, working much younger than the age. So the relationship also remains younger for a longer time if you are able to manage the relationship. If you are able to ignore the perfectionist approach, the complaining approach, the correcting approach, the analytical approach and wanting more out of you and you are able to give more space, you are able to be okay and maybe correct yourself a little bit and um, are more open hearted, more, more forgiving and also more flexible in what the requirements of the person are, then it's a good Dharakaraka to have. However, if malefics get involved, then this person could be the other way where can be too complaining and too correcting where you, you want to run away from the relationship because there is just too much to handle. So, if there are positives involved, in the, the Dharakaraka being Mercury, it can be a great thing. It can be a very good thing for business, for doing very well in investments, attracting, attracting a lot of finances, money. The person could also have a career related to money, related to IT and could themselves be doing very, very well in their career, in the approach in life. Can also be very, very analytical, very practical in the approach to life as well. However, on the relationship front, this could really be tricky if Mercury is the Dharakaraka. Now, when Venus is the Dharakaraka, this could be one of the best Dharakarakas to have on a material side of life. If you are also somebody who likes the material enjoyments of life, you also like to go out, you also like to go and dine, you also like good labels to wear, you also like to look good, groom yourself well, 
you also like to hang out with friends so this could be a very good dharakaraka to have because then the person will match your lifestyle would match what you what your aspirations are and uh, what you are looking for from the relationship so you could you guys could dine out a lot you could also be people who like who are foodies so want to prepare good food maybe both of you may also like to cook but one person may take the uh, more control in the cooking or may take more active role in the cooking than the uh, than the other with venus as the dharakaraka because they like the good life they may also spend more than you can afford so sometimes such a couple where venus is the dharakaraka especially both venus is also the dharakaraka or if moon is the dharakaraka of one and venus is the dharakaraka of the other then it may happen that they also spend too much money into a more lavish uh, lifestyle into eating out into calling people over and just indulging themselves too much uh, their houses can be very good looking very well groomed very well kept a uh, lot of good things in house beautiful things in life lot of artistic things in life also that could also be um, so the good life is definitely there and there could also be an artistic bent in the in the spouse so the spouse could there could be one area definitely where they have a lot of aff uh, affinity for affection for either one of the arts singing or dancing or cooking performing in one area of life definitely they will have some affinity or some movement towards or more uh, stronger attraction towards so they will always try to uh, go that way or they may want they may also pull you towards that if nothing else then the better life the good quality of life could also be that such people may also spend a lot of uh, time and attention on grooming themselves they like to, to, to look good also and so your your bathrooms could be very very um, you know spelling very good a lot of good perfumes in your uh, wardrobes also very good perfumes so better life quality of life may be there the challenge uh, comes when venus becomes the dharakaraka then what happens is that when venus becomes a dharakaraka you may go through two or three breakups and it's not easy to settle in the life with such people for a long term committed relationship so uh, the first few relations uh, relations could be as short as few months to a few years um, and rarely though it happens that you have a 25 or 30 year period with the same person with venus as the dharakaraka especially venus is afflicted very very strongly afflicted venus for example rahu getting connected with venus especially in the conjunction then this person if there is not enough happiness in the marriage may also seek solace outside of the marriage in every way emotional ways also and physical ways also not because they want to do it but because they are they don't feel comfortable enough in the relationship valued in the enough in the relationship desired in the relationship enough in the relationship and so they seek solace outside they want to look at outside avenues to get that um, the affection maybe the pampering maybe or the emotional support maybe so with venus as the dharakaraka it could be it could swing very very strongly both ways fantastic life very beautiful life very rich life very very fun enjoyable life or it could also be a very very challenging uh, life where lots of breakups are there though in between periods of great love affection and also a lot of good life may also be there so venus is the dharakaraka one needs to be careful how you approach the relationship now if you have moon as the dharakaraka moon as the dharakaraka means this person can be one who has a lot of affection a lot of care a lot of support for you and may also pamper you a lot may take care of you and may also bring in the extra pampering so the person looks after you um, is, is always looking after you or looking out for you uh, you know wanting to support you wanting to take care of you wanting that you don't get into some trouble and may also offer support sometimes the advice could be unsolicited you may you may be perfectly be able to take care of yourself may be able to take care of your affairs yet the person will not refrain from giving you advice and say okay why don't you do this why don't you do that but and when you don't listen then the person says you never listen to me i keep telling you this because of you this wrong thing happened because of you that loss happened because of you this relationship went down or that relationship got affected or this relative of ours is not talking to us or this is not happening good in our life so then the person will uh, you know will become a little bit more uh, you know motherly kinds of person where you are not listening to me or 
rather than motherly more paternalistic that you don't listen to me and you don't agree to what i'm trying to say and you never understand me so the person may think that there is not there is less empathy in the relationship though the person has given in a lot and because of which sometimes it so happens if there is less uh, trust or less affection then the person may feel that the other person has given you more the dara karaka the spouse has given a lot in the relationship has not has not got enough back in response and so slowly over a period of time the affection the intimacy and the feeling for each other may slowly reduce to such a time that the person can be completely withdrawn may sulk may not talk to you may also have huge emotional ups and downs so initial part if there are too much emotional upheavals happening uh, you know with periodicity and yet you don't do anything then the relationship may become colder and colder and one fine day there may be no relationship at all and so i know a lot of couples who the relationship has completely petered off but still were together for some time and then they just went their own ways so that also happens so one has to be really careful how you deal a person or dara karaka who is uh, uh, who is moon um, with the lowest degrees in your horoscope because this could be a very very good uh, paternalistic approach definitely but a very caring empathetic understanding approach but also it could mean that the person may also come across as a little more nagging also more clingy so the person may want to know what's happening in your lives who you um, you know socializing who you are going out so also may come across a little snoopy also because of wanting more information also and so one has to um, have a lot of uh, doors of trust open and uh, know each other very very well if the trust is very very strong if the empathy is very very strong if the understanding is very strong then it's a fantastic thing to have moon as the darakaraka but if malefics get involved moon gets de- debilitated moon gets combusted or moon gets afflicted by other planets then it could be it's one of the most tough darakarakas to have i have seen people go through bouts of depression breakdowns visit to um, the psychiatrist visit visits to the clinics hospitalization involvement of outsiders in the marriage to try and you know consult um the couple out or try to bring them together all hell breaks loose if the moon as the daraka raka is not handled well so if you are getting or if you are in the relationship with somebody where moon is the daraka raka of yours and moon is afflicted be really very very careful and keep the doors of trust open um show more love and care give more and then see how you also reciprocate it back if moon is your daraka raka if mars is a darakaraka it can be a good darakaraka to have as long as both are very very comfortable in each other skins which means you are very very sure of yourself other person will definitely be also very sure of himself or herself then the relationship could be excellent the reason being is the person could be very very motivated has a lot of strong will power so will also have a will lot of will power and motivation to stay in the relationship so this could be staying the relationship and for a long period of time because the person thinks that this re- relationship is for keeps and i don't want to walk out of it at the smaller sign of trouble or even at big signs of trouble the person wants to keep going and because the person is motivated has a lot of will power and very very focused so the focus is not only on their career but also on their marriage and so the person may want to spend more time with you may want to go on holidays with you may also make time with each other as a goal and so may take time off work may take time off their busy schedule wanting to spend time with you in spite of being very very goal oriented however if the relationship lacks that love that affection and empathy then they may start focusing more time in their career or in some other affairs It may not be infidelity but for example spending more time with family spending more time with children spending more time with anything that vocation or anything that they love to do or indulging in you know learning music or something or a hobby but definitely slowly the relationship may slide away in spite without even knowing so if the trust is very very high and if you are able to spend time with each other and are able to relate to each other give each other a patient ear then this can be a great relationship if this this relationship is more about listening paying attention wanting to and putting an effort to understand rather than the, the small the mushy things mushy things will follow next but attention is very very important here focus is very very important here and giving each other a lot of priority 
is very very important if the if the person feels that she, he or she is not your priority not an important part of your life then they may also not want to in spite of wanting may not feel coming out naturally to be uh, to see you as a priority also they give a lot of priority to um, to you as uh, the spouse however you also need to be able to know how to manage the ups and downs of the relationship uh, there can be some volatility also in the relationship sudden ups and downs also but if you manage it well then it is very very rock solid if you allow it to slither away then this can be very aggressive and even abusive relationships can come out of it if mo if mars gets strongly afflicted then high temperament very very high moodiness lot of anxiety frustration blood pressures and breakdowns may also follow al um, along with coupled with aggression aggression may also may, may always not be violence but it can be passive aggression where not talking to each other not showing that we care uh, for each other not giving time to each other not giving attention to each other can also be the passive aggression that the person may uh, indulge in a good daraka raka to have as long as you, re you respect each other you value each other well you give each other a lot of priority you make each other the goal and a great daraka raka to uh, daraka raka to have when mars is your daraka raka if jupiter is your daraka raka this could be a very very good daraka raka to have as long as you know how you are able to manage the relationship with a lot of understanding of the other person which means as much as information that you know about the other person the better if you don't understand your spouse well if you have not invested in knowing your spouse well your better half well then there could be a challenge because jupiter also brings in a lot of large heartedness but to be large hearted you need to know where you need to be large hearted so generally people who have jupiter as a daraka raka may have a very large hearted spouse as well but the spouse may also expect you to be very large hearted so being very very forgiving being somebody who spends money on the the spouse being large hearted with his or her friends being large hearted with his or her family members spending time with them willing to give time to them willing to respect them uh, not call them names is also what the spouse will expect so uh, the other person can be much more large hearted but only after you also are able to contribute otherwise there is definitely a challenge the other thing is this can also be a relationship where this requires uh, for the relationship to be stable more wisdom approach or a approach full of more wisdom which means you need to be able to forgive more give more space and maybe get a little less in the relationship so if you have that wise approach in the relationship then the relationship works excellent if you are looking for a equal relationship with such a person with such a daraka karaka where you feel i do so much then you also have to do as exactly as much or in fact a little bit more then there is a challenge or if you say that okay i will do 60% you do 40% slightly more i will do for you but not much more because we are equal i believe in equality then this could get into a challenge this is also a relationship which act, which can attract a lot of prosperity can attract a lot of goodness but this happens over a period of time the more strong the relationship the stronger the relationship grows and the stronger the prosperity also comes and the stronger the growth of both happens here you will find that both sometimes have equal parallel careers also and parallel growth if one enjoys growth within a year or two the other person will also get a growth if one goes through a challenge then within few months or maximum within a year other person will also go through some of the other challenge because jupiter has the high, highest gravity so will also attract challenges or attract prosperity and as a complementing uh, you know balancing act in the relationship this could also mean to have good children well um, e equipped children to deal with the uh, the uh, the challenges that the parents bring in the relationship children could be very wise children could be very intelligent children could also pay a lot of uh, focus on the education and rise high in life but for that the relationship has to be very very steady rock steady for the children also to prosper good gains come in the relationship uh, both the partners could also be people who are very highly qualified or at least one of the partners will surely be very very highly qualified or will have a lot of certifications in his or her line and uses that certification as a step towards growing in their career growing in their life so a good daraka raka to have as long as you're wise as you have as long as you're large uh, large hearted and as long as you're willing to give more 
then you see how you also get a reciprocated in spite not only from the spouse but also from the zodiac jupiter is the dharakaraka if saturn is your dharakaraka this could be a very very practical approach to relationship the person will be very very practical in his or her approach to you as a partner will also pay a lot of attention to what your likes are what your dislikes are and will try to accommodate you also however because it's a practical relationship it's also a give and take where the person feels if you accommodate me then i will also accommodate you if you're not willing to accommodate me then why should i be going out of my way to accommodate you the person will also have initially in in life at least in the relationship a more humble approach in how they approach you may want to do well for you may show more love and affection to you be more giving as said saturn initially is however if the that is not reciprocated or they feel that they are not reciprocated what happens to people um, who are saturn oriented people who are right below the rung the societal rung if you give them a lot of respect then they feel happy they feel also desired and valued also so similarly a person with saturn as the dharakaraka will also find that the person will if you show them importance if you show them value if you show them respect then they value more more than the love and affection you should show the respect and treat them as equals in your respect they also see love if they feel that you show a lot of love and affection but you don't respect them you don't give them importance then the love also doesn't seem to um, seem to be fair to them or valuable enough for them this such such a relationship could be low more long lasting because both the partners could also have a very practical approach to marriage to the union especially if both the dharakarakas are saturn however if the dharakarakas are uh, conflicting for example if one dharakaraka is sun the other dharakaraka is saturn then definitely some animosity could also come in such a person will also be very wise in the approach to keeping the relationship stable be more disciplined in the approach we remember birthdays we remember events but also remember those things which have not gone well between you two so such a person may remember events and then bring this up in times of argument say that time you said this that time you did this i didn't do this but again you have come back to that so that kind of thing may come in so it's a tough thing because saturn is a karmic equalizer it also makes you pay so such a person may make you pay in the relationship if you are not up to the mark they may also not give you enough value as a tit for tat they may also not approach you not forgive you may not say sorry to you may not apologize to you even if they have gone wrong if they don't feel that you value them and you respect them so respect stability commitment strong loyalty strong commitment is something that they're looking at to cement the relationship saturn is the dharaka dharakaraka it could be a very long stable relationship as as long as the practical approach to marriage is the practical approach to even love and affection is there however if there are malefics involved that this could be one of the most punishing dharakarakas it could be a lot of challenges ups and downs without knowing from which side things are coming in there could be challenges especially in the saturn dashas saturn bad transits sade satis such people can have a really really tough time because the dharakaraka is also of saturn so in the in your words time the dharakaraka also gives you more trouble so you feel i am already having this trouble at work i am already having this problem in my financial matters and my spouse or my better half is also giving me these troubles so if saturn is the dharakaraka you will have to be very very patient you will have to give in more space have to be preserving preserving in your relationship give a lot of value give a lot of respect then you will see that slow but steady wins the race very stable relationship very practical relationship very very given relationship if saturn is your dharakaraka so friends please look into what planet is your dharakaraka but also see whether the dharakaragas are dharakaragas dharakaragas are matching energies or not a complementary energies or not otherwise if the dharakaragas root are not complementary or not balancing and if you're not true to the energy this could this could be more loss making than be more prosperous so friends like this video share this video and if you're looking for a personal consultation for me please reach out to me the links given below please follow me in instagram and till some other time with some other video this is a friend for astrologer and guide irfan signing off ciao